Once again, we're staying in our modifying objects.dwg file. And at the moment, we're looking at our new workspace with our two desks, our two chairs, and our big plant in the corner. What we're going to look at now are arrays in AutoCAD. And these are sort of like a copy command, but on steroids. They kind of allow you to copy, but with lots of different variables and features. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to delete this chair and this desk. Let's get rid of those first and then select this chair and this desk. Right click and on the shortcut menu select move. And I'm going to pick a corner here. Now it could be any corner, doesn't matter which one. I just want to place it sort of down here in the corner of the office space like that. Now the reason we're doing that is we're going to array that desk and that chair to create a row of desks and chairs going along that wall in the office. So what we do is we can select the chair and the desk first. We then go up to the modify panel here and there's a fly out here and you can see you've got rectangular array, path array and polar array. We're going to use rectangular array. Now as soon as you do this, everything goes a little bit weird. Don't worry about it. Look at the ribbon first, and you can see that you are now in the Array Creation tab. It's a contextual tab up there on the ribbon. And you can see that it's put default values for columns and rows and so on in the boxes in the ribbon. That's why you've got all these desks and chairs suddenly appearing. Now, you don't want all of those desks and chairs, and we're going to alter the values in a moment, but this replaces the old array command that you used to have in older versions of AutoCAD. It's now known as the array classic command. So if you want to use the old array classic command, simply type array classic and press enter, and it'll bring up the old array dialog box if you want to use it. Now, you can obviously see there that we've got too many desks and chairs they're everywhere and what we need to do is make some changes so you can see that we only need the one row going along that wall of the office so we go to rows here in the ribbon and we change that value to one like so and press enter and then when I come back into the drawing area we've reduced it to the one row now we've got a little bit of a clash there with a chair and a desk and a plant so we need to change the number of columns to three so we change that to three there as well and press enter. And you can see now that we've got our desks and chairs looking nice and neat and tidy in our office. Now it may be that you want to kind of move those up a little bit and maybe just get a little less of a space between the desks. So going to the columns here, they're at 2286. Let's change that to 2000, 2000 millimeters, two meters and press enter. And when you come into the drawing area, can you see them just shift along slightly so that we've got three nice, neat desks and chairs in the office. Once you're happy with that, you simply go up to close array on the ribbon, click on it, job done. Now, you may think that that's all you need to do. Be aware that when you use this new array command in AutoCAD, it's associative. So this now is an associative array group. So when I click on it, you'll see that the array command, the tab, appears in the ribbon again so that I can edit the array. Now, if you don't want that to be an associative array, just hit escape a couple of times to deselect it. And in the home tab, in the modify panel, we've got the explode command here. So what we can do is we can select the array and then go to the home tab, go to the modify panel, click on explode, and they're now just chairs and desks again. Bear in mind, though, you will never get that associativity back. If you want to group them again, you can use the group command in the groups panel up here on the home tab on the ribbon. So let's zoom out slightly, pan across a little bit to the entrance hall of the building, and we're going to zoom in here like so. You can see we've got four chairs going around a small square table in the entrance hall. We're going to select this one, this one, and this one, and we're going to delete them. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a polar array command around this particular chair, and then we're gonna bring this chair around a central point. So we select the chair, we go to the modify panel, click on the flyout, and select polar array. 
and we specify the center point of the array as the intersection of these two green center lines and all of a sudden lots of chairs very similar to the situation we had with the desks and the chairs earlier with the rectangular array now what you'll notice here is again the array creation contextual tab appears on the ribbon and you can see now that we can edit items rows levels angles etc now I'm going to change the number of items to five like so and when I come into the drawing area you'll see when I press enter that that value will now change can you see we've got five chairs instead of six now that's great I want the five chairs there like so one of the nice features of the polar array command though is I can change this rotate item setting in the properties and all the chairs now face the same direction because they're not rotating in the direction of the array switch it back on again come back into the drawing area and they all look like they're rotating around the table again so I'm happy with my five chairs there around the central point with my polar array so I'll close the array by clicking on the green tick on the ribbon again it's associative so if I select this like so you can see it opens up the array tab on the ribbon again and if I want those just to be chairs again I go to the home tab I go to the explode command in the modify panel and now they're just regular chairs again around a table if I want them to be grouped I would use the group command here in the groups panel on the home tab on the ribbon so as you can see using the rectangular and polar arrays you've got various methods there of modifying objects in your AutoCAD drawing.